All right, guys, you might notice that this is not a Commodore. We are in something really different and uh, really unique for me. I have not experienced anything like this before. This is an Audi S4, one from the late 90s. This, on the channel, especially on Instagram, I have really been a little bit hard on Euro cars, and I do actually stand by that. However, the older ones like this do get a bit of a pass. These ones are actually built quite well, not just Audi, but the rest of the of the bunch and i i think that these cars last i mean yes the uh repairs are going to be more than a toyota or a vs commodore which is sort of what was at the same time as this and that's actually why i thought i'd have this on the channel because this is like you know the same age as the vs wagon that i've got and um which is pretty wild to think about sitting in here so first impressions in here I love the shifter. It is a six-speed manual too, which is pretty cool. I love it. When it's in gear, it really feels like it's aiming towards you like that. Um, I really, really like that. And uh, in terms of the interior quirks, the only one that comes to mind is the, the cluster here, the Speedo. I've noticed uh, it's not linear. So, for example, two um, increments on the left side is 10 k's an hour, but two on the right side is 20. Um, yeah, that's a bit interesting, but... Anyway, let's uh, actually get into driving this car. It does have a sunroof, actually, which I have been um, driving without. But I've just got to figure out how to uh, to close it. There we go. So it is twin turbo. So this is a twin turbo V6 all-wheel drive. And I have been driving it for a while, so it's not a cold motor. It's a pretty stock car, which is fantastic. And that's actually what I wanted. It has been lowered, but the motor is stock it even has a stock exhaust but this thing this thing rips this thing is is really fast and um well enough talking let's oh and of course the indicators are on the other side but let's uh oh again i'd never ever do that on a cold car but i have been driving it around and um again i'm not going to go hard on this car of course it's not my car but i just thought that i would just give it one zero to a hundred it's a very very healthy car this and the running gear is fantastic it just yeah it drives great and i have to be honest as well it drives a lot nicer than i probably thought it would this car does not feel 26 years old that's a little bit hard to show across camera but it drives dead smooth you know it's straight it's so nice to drive it's very very comfortable my only concern with euro cars and again it actually doesn't apply ironically as much to the older ones is the the right actually it might this might a little bit the cost to repair and maintenance and making things um complicated and difficult to repair just for for the sake of it and that is more the case with the newer cars um than the old ones i this is a a bit of a special car so this one i think it's a little bit of a pass i think that it has actually aged incredibly well the outside of it which we'll have a look later but yeah very fun car to drive and it sticks to the ground like like nothing again i haven't been driving it hard or fast but it just really it's like glued to, <laughs> to the ground and i guess that i'm just used to driving a vs or vt or whatever it is but if you're driving them this you know taking corners at the same speed you'll spin out for sure where this car is is nice and very well balanced and um the interior is so comfy like oh, very cool car i always uh as any aussie probably that gets into a euro i keep um, <laughs> hitting the wiper and uh, instead of the indicator but yeah it just uh, that didn't really do it justice this gearbox though is really nice it's really really satisfying and uh, it's not crunchy and great great car I, I have to be honest you know I'm really enjoying I'm really enjoying this I didn't think that I would uh, enjoy it as much as I as I am. I, I have to admit that I don't know a ton about this motor, uh, these cars, and I don't know whether these are reliable or. I mean, they have to be 
semi-reliable. This car's got 208,000 kilometers on it and it's 25 years old. So I guess it can't be that bad. Um, well, I shouldn't have gone this way actually. I might just do a U-turn at the roundabout ahead. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a very well settled car. That noise that you're hearing is probably just my arm on the armrest. Um, it, it is pretty cool. You can see your engine temperature as well as your coolant temperature. So they do make that distinction on the dash, which is pretty cool. But um, yeah, my first time driving a turbo all wheel drive six speed, like it just ticks a lot of boxes and um, very cool car, very cool car indeed. And I do love the sunroof. I think that that is really nice. And I will admit, one thing that the Euro cars did excellent in the 90s is styling and the interior. Like, it's a really nice place in here. The seats are fantastic, nice cream leather seats. The exterior styling, I think, is really good. And, I don't know, it's just, uh, it's just a real step above, well, a VT wagon, which is the Aussie equivalent of the day. I'm sure that this thing is not the best on fuel. And uh, it would actually be interesting to see you guys in the comments, especially you know, if there's any Europeans watching it, how these go for reliability. Um, the twin turbo V6, I, I'm really not familiar with them. And that is actually why I had it on the channel because, you know, I've been a bit down on Euro cars and I, if I'm honest, I probably shouldn't have been because I don't have that much experience with them. I probably still wouldn't own any of the newer Euro stuff. Um, I'd just be so worried that they're gonna break and it's gonna cost me a million dollars to fix. Um, which is sort of why I steer towards Toyota and the Japanese stuff as, as a daily driver. But this car is running it like a treat. Like it runs and drives very, very nicely. Um, the only thing that doesn't work is the, the little screen. Some of the things are, are dying on the screen. But that's really the same with the uh, Commodores and Falcons. So I can't really, you know, that's just an age thing. Again, it, it surprises you because it's very smooth and then all of a sudden you put your foot down and it's just throws you back. It's just, especially that first like zero to 70, um, really cool car. And uh, I don't know, I, I love it. I love the dash, I love the interior and it's very smooth and very comfortable to drive despite being how low it is. And I really also do like the sunroof. But um, that's probably enough for the moment. I think I might find a spot to park up and I'll show you what the outside looks So I've just pulled over quickly and I just thought that I would show you sort of what the uh, the outside of this thing looks like. Again, like I said before, I think it's aged very, very well. And uh, it is a little bit weird to see these on club plates, but yeah, really good design. I love the little S4 logo in the badge. Very tidy car. Uh, I was told by the owner that all of them have the uh, chrome mirrors and one has been lowered a little bit but still looks really really good yeah, it is for, but it does have roof racks and sunroof and reversing sensors and all of that gear but overall it's a really really cool car i do really really like these calipers with the audi logo on them and yeah overall really cool car I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it's not a Commodore or a Falcon, but I just thought that I would give them sort of my perspective on Euro stuff, especially because I've been a little bit negative about it. So I really do like this car. I have to be honest. I really do like the looks of the older Euro cars, especially BMW. And I would welcome more of those on the channel for sure. It's really only the new ones. And while they're nice car, the cost to service and maintain them is really what turns me off. And I don't like that they're just built to, to fail and all the plastic parts and stuff. But a lot of these 90s and 80s ones are not like that. And uh, so those are the ones that I would definitely be interested in. So if these are your kind of cars, especially these or Ford Holden, whatever it is, um, please follow along. Or if you have something like this that you liked on the channel, please get in touch because I would definitely be interested. So I've really enjoyed this and uh, thank you for watching.